Hello lovely people, let's talk about this spaghetti bolognese. So this is a bank of lithium that I bought three, four months ago and I bought it second hand. So this is a used lithium. These are the uh, lithium phosphate uh, leaf air pore, whatever for, I think they're called prismatic cells. And these are quite old from the design and everything and they were used however they're still good so i bought them and i didn't charge them i kept them in storage for a few months and it's still reading 13.14 volts which is great i have a active balancer which is like just capacitor based and transistor whatever i don't know it's like four or five pounds from aliexpress just to balance out the cells but they were pretty much balanced by themselves i am planning to use this in my car at least for now temporary because it's just like extra power you know for demos and stuff it's it doesn't supply a lot of current but for my sq is going to be pretty much enough so these are um 100 amp hour cells so all together i have 100 amp hours 13 points. I don't know. I'm gonna charge them because I didn't charge them yet So the reason why I'm testing this and why I need this because I want to test some amplifiers so I have uh, three DSP amplifiers and another four of the Alpine so I have seven amplifiers in total. I have This battery because I need to test on battery. I have a charger that goes on the car, but it introduces uh mains noise and it's not good for testing anything so it needs like a lifted ground so this is going to be just perfect so these as i mentioned is 100 amp hours and they're like half c so half c rating means that they can take like charging uh 50 amps and they can give 100 amps for like continuous and i think like 150 or something on max burst so like 100 amps of current plus my main lead acid battery is going to be plenty enough for me so uh, these are the batteries let me show you the load resistors in order to test amplifiers you need first power which is the lithium and second you need some load so i do have these resistors they're from china very cheap 100 watts for ohm and i have a bunch of them and like i can do a various combinations of them because i will be testing only four channel amps not monoblocks so i can like load all the channels while i'm testing so these uh they can hold like some power for short amount of time but they're gonna overheat so they need like a heatsink so this was supplied to me though kindly donated by james thank you very much james it's an old old in-phase amplifier that i took the guts out i sent the guts to sam just for spare parts and for this i was gonna tap drill and tap the actual heatsink and we'll need to just uh figure out how to rearrange these uh resistors and basically i'm gonna have a static load bank with like maybe some connectors or something on the end plate i don't know i haven't figured it out yet but this is the plan because i have loads of them and i can do like various combinations two ohms four ohms and whatever and these this is going to be like perfect for sinking all the heat yeah so this is my load bank the other tools that i might need or might use is just going to be a regular multimeter that can measure voltage uh, then i might use a scope so this is the cheapest the one that everybody buys and it's plenty good enough for this um these measurements just checking for amplifier clipping checking the sine wave i might use rw for that but this is just a handheld scope i paid 20 pounds for it it works perfectly good for that and uh, the actual testing that i'm going to be doing is with a focus right um, interface i'll need to figure out the connections and everything but this is going to be with rw and to measure the distortion so bradley helped out uh, a lot by making a short video i don't know if he published that video on his channel he made a short video about testing amplifiers how he does it with rew playing some test tones from 
audio precision. Now, of course, all of this is not going to be audio precision level, but I think it's going to be plenty enough to test uh, amplifiers, especially car amplifiers. I do have uh, one home amplifier, my Yamaha, which is supposed to be extremely, extremely clean, and it will be like a reference point for me, but this, I think, is going to be plenty fine. So, I need your help. If you have any advice or any articles or any videos to check out how to actually measure the distortion of the amplifiers, what test tones to use, because Bradley used, uh, as I mentioned, that audio precision files, but where am I supposed to get them? I don't know. If you have any tips, any advice or anything about testing amplifiers, what I want to test is frequency response, which is kind of easy, you just do a sweep, but then the distortion. So how do you test the distortion or like any other parameters? Uh, I don't know, anything. Put in the comments, what do you want me to check out? If you know, post how to measure everything, and I'm gonna try to do my best. And in the beginning, as I mentioned, I'm gonna do only all my amplifiers. So I have three DSP amps and one uh, and four regular amps. And maybe if I can ha get my hands on something like very, very bad and very shitty and just to check it out and to compare is it really, really bad, I'm gonna test that out. So yeah, this was a short update on my amplifier testing plans, rig and setup. Please comment below with your tips, advice and everything. I will be reading everything and thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next one guys.